guys and welcome back to my channel. It is another day in the Fox household, but it's a very unusual day. We just got back from a two week vacation to Florida last night. The house is still half unpacked. I have groceries to go pick up. I need to go check my PO box, some cooking to do, so much stuff today. And today promises to be a busy day. So I thought I would pick up my camera and vlog for you guys today. The kids are still eating their breakfast. The kids are eating oranges, star fruit, and some cereal. We've never had star fruit before, but these oranges are so good that the Florida Honey Bells, I probably shouldn't have cut them. They were like super, super juicy. It's really hard to cut them, but the juice, You Floridians are so lucky. Anyway, I'm so excited to take you with me today. It's gonna to be a busy day, a full day. And make sure you stick around to the end because I'm gonna show you what we are grilling for supper tonight. This video is sponsored by ButcherBox and I'll talk more about that in a little bit. ButcherBox came in the mail for us while we were in Florida. Our friends were reading about ButcherBox and right around that time ButcherBox actually reached out to me. I'm like, okay, this is like perfect timing. We are kind of picky about our meat. My parents often raise our beef for us right in their field and right now we're totally low so I was looking for other options and ButcherBox came across my plate. The cool thing about ButcherBox is that you're not just getting any old meat you know, from the grocery store. It's grass-fed beef, it's like free-range chicken wild caught salmon. Yeah, it's just really cool what they stand for and like the meat you eat is a cut above. We had a bunch of it in Florida. So, so good. Oh, and here's the grass-fed ground beef. Actually, this item is pretty special because I actually have a link down in my description box where when you sign up for the Butcher Box subscription, you're actually gonna get two pounds of ground beef for free with every single box for lifetime. So that's a really cool deal. I'm glad they gave that to me to share with you all. So definitely check that link out down below. I'm super excited to be a butcher box subscriber too. So let me get my meat back in the freezer again. I just wanna um, get it out of this box. It's kind of bulky. I think I'm gonna set out the ribeyes for supper tonight. So I'm up here emptying out all the wash baskets of our clothing and things that you know we just got back from Florida with. By the way, great tip, pack your things in laundry baskets. If you're just traveling by car, it's wonderful because then you use your laundry baskets while you're down there. I know a bunch of you asked me to vlog over in Florida and I decided not to. I really, really wanted to just enjoy the time with my family and guys, it was the best vacation of my life so far and so I don't regret it. Um, we did a lot of the same things we did last year so if you'd like to see last year's trip to Florida, you can go ahead and click on the video up there. But we were gone for two weeks and um, yeah, if you'd like to see some more highlights and stuff of our Florida trip, make sure you're following me on Instagram. I do have a highlight bubble at the top of my page where you can click on Florida 2020 and see all the things we did, look for recommendations of places to go. Hi! Anyway, so some of you were asking on Instagram if I could show you some of the stuff I picked up while I was thrifting or shopping. So I'm going to quickly do that here um, just to show you kind of like a little haul. I didn't do a ton of shopping in Florida. In fact, I didn't spend a lot of money in Florida at all. We did a lot of free things while we were down there, but um, we did do some thrifting and some like close out store shopping and I did run to Target one time. It was so fun. Anyway, so first of all, Bonnie, do you want to go play while Mommy does this? No. You can jump on the bed? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> She's going to go jump on the bed. Have fun. Um, so the first thing I got is brand new, but I was looking for a jean jacket for the longest time. I used to, like, have three jean jackets at a time when I was, like, 15 and 16, whatever. Yeah. But I have not owned one in probably five years, and I've been looking around for a long time for a nice, like, light wash jacket that also fit me really well. Um, and I was not finding anything that I liked. I found a lot of them at thrift stores, but none of them fit really good. And so I found this one at Target for only $20. It was on sale. I actually debated getting two colors and then deciding which one I wanted. But this is just really great. I love this color wash, like the light color denim for springtime. So yeah, I did wander around Target and I did pick up that jean jacket. Also, we did run to Burlington too. Um, and I picked up a few things there. And then I'll show you my thrifting stuff. I got Josh this shirt. He likes neutrals, but black and white can get boring after a while. So this is, yeah, that's your nighty. I'm just showing them the new stuff I bought. Okay. She thinks I'm just standing here showing you guys laundry. <laughs> How cute. Okay. You can go play. Okay. Anyway, so I got this one for $6.99 at Burlington and I just got myself a couple workout shirts. The workout shirts I have are really, really worn. So it's time for some new ones. So just this light colored Adidas one. And you having fun jumping? Okay. 
and this one right here too, Reebok. I like the lilac color mixed with the gold. Got him another shirt for $6.99. And look at this, it is so precious. Oh my word, I, I hope it fits Ivani. I'm kind of doubting that it will, but if not, it was a great, great price and I thought I will use it for baby gifts. So that was super cute. And one more new item. This was from Ross and it's for Ivani. I don't know if it's gonna fit, but like I said, again, um, I can always give it as a baby gift. It has little pockets and everything. They had a 2T and a 4T. I wish I would have bought both sizes. Okay, on to the thrifting haul. I did get to go thrifting with Lynette Yoder again this year, um, and I found a few things. This is a little shirt for Fletcher. It looks like it has some dirt on it, but I think it's gonna come out, but it's so cute. I just love tortoise shell or wooden buttons. Ivani, did you know what I got you? Look at this. I am not wear it. It's a swimming suit. Yeah. Say swimming suit. Swimming suit. <laughs> she calls them swimming suits. Anyway, this is a little bathing suit. Um, I thought she can just use like in the backyard and stuff. Um, I don't often buy swimsuits used. And the one I did get her for Florida is like long sleeved because the poor girl, I don't want her to get burned. But I thought, you know what, that was a pretty expensive swimming suit. I'd like to have something else for just like around the house if we're like playing out at the water table in the backyard or something like that. So not maybe my first pick, but it's cute. $1.99, can't beat it. Also, <laughs> I don't know what made me buy this, but it looks so good on with the outfit I was wearing, and it's so unique and different. I was like, you know what? I don't care if everybody else hates it. I love it. It's just like an open front cardigan, very drapey and lightweight, three-quarter length sleeves. Yeah, I just thought the springtime would be so perfect. I don't know if you can see that. It's like tea-dyed kind of look to it. Anyway, it's super not in style, but at the same time, it kind of is. I don't know. I loved it, so I got it, and that was $4.99, I think. Most of the stuff in Florida was like $4.99 a piece. Not the cheapest for Goodwill stuff. <laughs> I also found a church shirt for myself as well. It's like a nice flowy top um, and has long sleeves. So I'll be wearing it right now. And yeah, it's like a really pretty gray color. It's not quite black, but almost. And I just like the detail here in the front. There, I think it'll look good just tucked in with a fitted skirt. I did buy the kids a toy. I can't find it though. It's like one of those big expandable balls that gets big and little. Um, I found that for like 99 cents. And then I got this, which I've been seeing these around a bunch, but I never actually bought one. And it is going to, it's like, I guess you bake bread in it or something. But what I want Josh to do is to drill a hole in the bottom of each piece for me. And then I can put like little plants in it. Um, it's like terracotta. I just, I love this color, guys. I love setting this color around everywhere. It's like this earthy, orangey color. So yeah, that was what I picked up in Florida. I also got a whisk at Goodwill for 79 cents. You'll also notice in this time lapse that my room is so much brighter. Josh totally surprised me. We got back from Florida. In fact, on the way home, I was telling him about, I really wish our room had more lighting in it. I can't really film in there. It's super, super dark. And he didn't even smirk. And we got home and he's like, hey Megan, come up the stairs. I came up and he got my brother-in-law to install recessed lighting up here in the ceiling. So finally, this room is lit. I was super surprised and things like that just bless my heart. Like he thought of me and got it done. So you've probably seen my closet declutter by now and how I started a little capsule wardrobe. I did not 100% stick to that when I was in Florida because it's completely different weather down there and I wanted to be prepared, but I found myself, you know, reaching for a lot of my capsule wardrobe stuff because that's the stuff I like. But yeah, that's why I'm putting some things on this side and some things back over on this side again because I am resuming my capsule wardrobe again. As you can see, super plain Jane Megan over here. But honestly, you can still be cute even if you're not wearing like you know, something different every single day for a month straight. Um, so it's actually not bothering me much at all, but yeah, I just wanted to give you a little update on that. Thank you.
Okay, we are off to the grocery store. <laughs> Normally we go, I just do like Walmart grocery pickup on Fridays, but yeah, we were gone on vacation. So we just got back and this is Monday and I'm going to Aldi this time because I love Aldi. They have really good prices, but I also need a bunch of produce. So I want to make sure that, I mean, I like to pick out my produce by myself rather than do Walmart grocery pickup if I know I need a bunch. Um, I'm gonna be doing a bunch of Power Bowls this week for lunches, I've never made them before. We'll see if we like them. Uh, I know you're supposed to use a lot of quinoa, but I'm thinking I might do couscous instead. I don't know if that's going to work or not, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to go to Aldi so I can pick out my stuff myself. And I love Aldi. I mean, there's some certain items there you can't get anywhere else, and I just, I really like them. Also, we're going to stop at my P.O. Box. I have not checked it in two weeks because we were gone. So, yeah, we'll see what's in there. And also... Um, yeah, if I didn't say already, my sunglasses were from Target. <laughs> the way the day worked out, I had to go for groceries not right in the morning. Um, and I usually go on Fridays and pick them up from Walmart, like I said, after I do a workout class. But, um, yeah, I waited till after Fletcher's nap today, so it's actually 11.30, and I don't know how it's gonna go, because they're probably getting hungry soon. So I did pack a bottle for Fletcher. He still takes the bottle a couple times a day. <laughs> He'll be turning a year old really soon and then I'll switch him to cow's milk, but for now he's still in formula, like five ounces, five times a day. It's ridiculous, just like when he was a newborn practically. <laughs> but um, I feel like he gets thirsty if I don't give him something throughout the day. Anyway, so I'll probably give you Bonnie some goldfish or something, so she'll be happy in the cart. But they say you should never go grocery shopping while you're hungry, but I have a list, so hopefully that won't be a problem. <laughs> I love to do grocery hauls, but I don't usually do dedicated like grocery haul videos but I will put my grocery all haul in here as well. Also, if you love all this like random mom content and just like, yeah, you like enjoy watching our Mennonite lifestyle, make sure you subscribe if you haven't. I've seen in my analytics that not even half of you are subscribed, but that's fine. Um, but if you forgot to, go ahead and do that. And if you're new, I'm so glad that you are here. Go ahead and click around my other videos to figure out a little bit more about who we are. And also give this video a like if you like Day in the Light videos. Um, I try to do one at least once a month and yeah. I enjoy showing you what we're up to. Okay, you open the door for mommy, please. Wow, we got a lot of stuff. Oh, wow. oh yeah, look at all the stuff mommy got. Oh. Okay. okay, hold on to the box. That way you don't crash into a car or anything. Thank you. Looks like somebody sent you a book. Let's go look. Uh, let's get you in there, Fletcher. Excuse you, are you gonna get in? Okay. Here you go. Oh, goodness. I went in and there was nothing in the PO box. I was like, kind of shocked. Anyway, here they kept it all up front because there was so much of it. So yeah, there's like a ton of stuff here. I don't think I will put it in this vlog. Let me know if you're disappointed about that but I will go ahead and um, put that in my Instagram and I'll save it as a highlight. So if you'd like to see what I got, go follow me over there on Instagram and you can see, yeah, the goodies that you guys sent or the things that I ordered. And don't ever feel like you need to ever send me anything at all. Some people were asking me, why do you get sent stuff or whatever? And I'm always super grateful for anything that you guys do send, but it's also kind of a give and take. Um, I've worked hard to, yeah, develop the platform that I do have and I guess for like some small businesses, it's a way for them to get some, you know, get their name out there, or a little bit of recognition. And I love to support small businesses. So I am always happy to share the things that you guys send that I like, or even just like first impressions and stuff. And of course the best is always the letters and cards from you guys. I love to see the other side of things. Like <laughs> you guys get to see me and I don't always, yeah, get to see who you guys are. Although I get to meet a ton of you in Florida and that was so fun. A whole bunch of you guys said hi and we chatted and it just gave a little bit of a face to my camera screen because you know that's all I see. Yeah, I don't know, it's just nice to know who I'm talking to a little bit. It makes things seem a little more like real life or like we're actual friends and so I really appreciate that. So don't ever feel like you need to send me anything but my PO box is down below. If you ever wanna drop me a line, say hi or whatever or you can always DM me on Instagram too. It doesn't cost you 50 cents then with a the stamp. <laughs> oh, and another thing, I don't know if you noticed with like my day in the life vlogs, they're not just like I grab the camera and I take it with me on my day. Um, I never want to waste your guys' time, so I always want to make sure that I have things to share with you or tips or recipes and things like that. So honestly, the night before, I usually think about what's going to happen during the day. Um, I had somebody tell me that they really appreciate that I have a plan when I turn on my camera. And it's a fine line, I have to say, between being staged 
and like with being prepared and I never stage anything like you never know what's gonna happen during a day but I usually kind of have an idea of what I need to do that day and what I want to show what I don't like this afternoon I'll probably play with my kids a bunch and stuff before their nap time and you probably won't see that on the camera just you know for the sake of keeping it shorter and I don't know I try not to keep my kids in the videos a ton yeah so I just wanted to let you know that my day in the life's always usually have a theme to them or else like a point to them or a lesson or a, yeah I don't know I just I guess that's a school teacher in me I'd like to kind of have it be a little bit cohesive and but yeah at the same time a day in the life of a stay-at-home mom is it's never the same anyway we're here so let's go inside this is your buddy I guess you're just not gonna have your shoes And look at this, I made a grocery list and it's laid out in the order of everything here at Aldi. So yeah, I'm excited to see how this works. So you come to pantry stuff first and then the produce, the deli, condiments. Anyway, we'll see how this works out. I'll let you guys know. Does Aldi not have sausage rolls? Whatever, like for sausage sandwiches? I guess we'll just have to do the club sandwich rolls. How are you, Megan? Hey. The awesome squad is out together. It's <laughs> cheese. Should we get some chicken for supper? Um, yeah. Not tonight, but another night. Get you, get you, get you. Okay, what else do we need yet? I think we're about done. And here is my grocery haul. I just love Aldi prices. This whole thing was like 50 bucks. My budget is 75. I thought I stocked up with a lot of stuff, but yeah, I stayed way under budget, which is great. I'll show you just a few highlights. I did get this half and half creamer because I want to start making my coffees in the morning to be iced brevet lattes instead of just what I've been normally doing with creamer. I thought I could use this and then add a little bit of maple syrup. I'll let you know if I find a winning combination. Um, this asparagus you're gonna see tonight. I have a really good recipe for that, so stick around. Sweet potatoes and um, broccoli. Oh, shh. Mommy's filming, okay, we don't want to screech. I have sweet potatoes and broccoli florets, couscous and quinoa, and a bunch of other veggies I have in my freezer. I'm gonna be trying to make power bowls. I also thought this Asian sesame dressing looked really good and I might use this one in the power bowls, but it's always good on salad too. The Kalamata olives I plan on putting in my power bowls as well. Like I said, I don't know if they're gonna be super great yet or not, but if I hit on any winning combinations, I will let you know. Chicken for the power bowls and baby carrots just for Josh and his lunch and also, yeah, the kids love them too. Avocados for breakfast and also I might try putting that in the power bowls. And you guys maybe buy this after my Valentine's video when me and Josh taste tested all kinds of brownies from Walmart. You guys said you gotta try the Aldi brownies. So I did buy the Aldi brownie mix. I know I've had it before, I can't remember how they were. But I just thought that's nice to have around. I also have vanilla ice cream in the freezer if, in case people would pop over. We can serve them brownies and ice cream. Um, anything else interesting here? I don't know. I think that's all I really need to talk about for now. Oh, yes, these. <laughs> these are for me and me only. They're so expensive, so I let the kids eat string cheese and stuff instead. So these kids are eating like crazy. I put the leftover mixed vegetables in the fridge, and they both were asking for more. Yes, here you go. They just had burgers for lunch, and I diced them up. And then I'm also giving them vegetables with, this is the, 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 I want the whole, the whole bowl. You want the whole bowl? Yeah. No, you eat those first, okay? I have the ones here from Walmart that have the potatoes mixed in and stuff, so yeah, definitely a hit with these guys, which is so funny because I can't stand mixed vegetables. It's like my least favorite thing. And yes, real life over there, guys. I'm also just kind of marinating this asparagus for supper. Oh my word, you guys, it's so delish. Just some olive oil, toss it a little bit. 
And then I just like mix some minced garlic in there. Oh, it smells so good. And look how skinny and thin they are. Sometimes they're like really woody. And then I just salt and pepper everything real good. And this is gonna go on the grill tonight. I'm just here making a simple rub for our steaks. So here is the spice rub that I'm gonna just make here in a mason jar. Isn't that pretty, all the different layers? <laughs> it just tastes like paprika, chili powder, coffee, a lot of coffee grounds in there, pepper, salt, a uh, whole bunch of stuff. I'll put it down below, but it's a super simple rub. I'm just gonna mix it up here in my mason jar. And then I'm just going to rub it on the steaks and set it in the fridge for, you know, till supper time, about five hours. Yeah, we are really loving ButcherBox, so if you would like to try it out as well, make sure you click on the link down below. You will have to enter your email to access the deal, but then you're gonna be getting two pounds of ground beef for free with each box that you get for the rest of your lifetime of your subscription to ButcherBox. And also, shipping is always free. The reason I chose to partner with ButcherBox in a video is because I just love how their meat is not only really, really incredibly good and good for my family, and also it's a great, great deal compared to that same kind of cut and quality of meat at the grocery store. And really, also, did I forget to say, it comes right to your door? Yeah, that's priceless, guys. Yeah, we're like Daddy, Bonnie. Mm -hmm. Daddy does it too. It's not near as cute. Mm -hmm. I know, but Daddy eats all the tails. Mm -hmm. Ew. Mm -hmm. My family has no manners. No, we do not. But guess what? Poor Bonnie. Bonnie, why do you have your hand in that cup? What happened? The ouchie. You got an ouchie? Yeah. And it hurts. Yeah, her finger was bleeding. From a stick. Oh. Is it feeling better in the cold water? So I actually had a little bit of time between nap time being over at five and supper time. Um, Josh was grilling, so it took a little bit longer. And so I quickly whipped up our breakfast, I guess you could say, for the week. It's cottage cheese eggs, spinach, sausage, and then my egg spice blend that I like to use. And so I'm just gonna pop these in the oven and then we'll have them all week long for breakfast. And this evening, Josh had to run out to just a nearby client's house and he was just patching up some drywall. Somebody's basement had gotten wet. And so it was just me and the kiddos for a little bit. And we had fun roughhousing and playing together on the floor. Um, yeah, I was trying to teach Fletcher to be gentle. Goodness gracious, he was so rough. But he thought it was so funny. He'd whack me and then giggle. And Ivani, of course, loves playing on the bed. But anyway, it was pretty fun because Josh was only gone for half an hour. I love when he's home in the evenings and I hate when he's like gone and it doesn't happen a ton. But you know, when you're running your own business, work hours are a little weird sometimes. But after that, it was off to the bathtub and my kids love bath time. I'm so grateful for that. And yeah, we usually make it a drawn out process on nights that we have time for that. And I just use these little Crayola drops in the bathtub for, yeah, Ivani just really loves them. And I think I picked these up at Target. But yeah, I still sit Fletcher in his little baby seat just so he doesn't slide all around all over the place. He can be such a wiggly little guy, especially at bath time. And then it was time to brush Ivani's hair out and brush her teeth and you can see here that I look kind of tired, but we were singing some songs as I brushed her hair. I was trying to get her to repeat them back to me. And then Josh kissed her goodnight and put Fletcher to bed for me while I brushed her teeth and sent her off to bed. We usually read a little Bible story, me or Josh, with her. We kind of take turns however the night works out. And then I usually say a little prayer with her and put her to bed. Oh, what a day. I am folding my load of laundry. I usually never fold laundry this late at night, but yeah, I forgot about it with all the craziness happening today. Anyway, I am very tired, but I did get a lot done today, so it makes sense why I'm tired. If you are not a stay-at-home mom, but you have friends that are, and maybe you feel like you never know what to ask them, it just seems like, yeah, how do you even start a conversation with a stay-at-home mom? 
maybe this video made you realize that we have lives too and there is a lot that can go on in a day. I hope that this video was insightful. If you are not a stay-at-home mom, maybe you now realize that stay-at-home moms actually do have a lot on their plate and we have a lot of things going on in our day. Um, life is never boring as a stay-at-home mom. And if you yourself are a work-from-home stay-at-home mom, I hope you felt not alone today as you watched this video. Anyway, enough blathering on. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe. It really helps me out, guys. Just if you would like to, go ahead and do that. Also, click the link down below to check out Butcher Box because it's a great time to sign up with the free ground beef that's going on. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, everyone.